Hello Minecrafters, Sonichuk here. Welcome to my another creative blog. This blog is gonna be about the hub I've been building as well. And it's the last episode in which this hub is gonna be because it's all 100% completed. As you can see, the only thing that I updated and added to this whole build is this island with the portal in which when players go through they will have the server selection and also I added this sign the name of the network Zonia and a flying projecting thing I would say Okay, so let's take a closer look at all what I've built. So this island started as a copy of a half of the island with the rubbles of the temple or what is it? And then I a little edit the whole shape and added the builds. So there's only one entrance from the spawn point over the bridge. There's a cave in the middle with a pond. Oh, wait a second, I should fix this. Fix this hole. There we go. Okay, so there are pillars around, also lighting the area, some trees hanging from the cliffs vines as well like on all islands and a cool thing I added right here is are these tilted turbines and as you can see they look pretty well even though they are tilted and to hold the shape I'll show you right here the technique I just kept this build. So to create the tilted rotors or the turbines, I had to actually create the turbine twice. So once I created it flat, flat like, like always, regular flat rotor, and then I start converting, okay, let's put a block here. Well, just imagine that the turbine, the tilted turbine isn't placed here, that there's nothing. And all what was there was was the stone creating a tilted plane. Well, I can, I can de delete the whole thing right away. I'll just replace all the blocks that are there with air. So air, replace, replace. 44, that's for the stone half blocks. All the half blocks, and also it's 95, zero for the glass. Okay, I, I don't remember what are the stone fences. 139. 39. There we go. And I don't remember the ID of the double the double half blocks. So I'll just delete them. And here we go. This is the tilted plane. And now I'll show you shortly how I created the whole thing. 
I also had to edit it with hand, but it was just small edits. So let's replace the with sand and undo it so I can replace it again. Okay, so I'm going to replace the sand with the prismarine bricks, but there's also a prismarine cylinder above it. So I'll replace it again, but I'll replace it with gravel, which I will re then replace with air. So let's replace it with gravel. Undo. And once again with sand. There we go. Now I can now I can replace the whole thing back to what it was. So that is replace sand to 681 and replace gravel to air. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> what did I just done? Replace gravel with air. That's that. Now about the outer cylinder. Okay, that's this plane. Oh, I just forgot to add the the prismarine bricks cylinder back so I'll just do a hollow cylinder and I think it was radius 12 okay undo there we go Okay, so back to the outer cylinder. So the outer cylinder is uh, flying one block above the lowest cylinder. That means I'll have to replace it with gravel ones and then with the sand. So, gravel, undo, and the sand. get to undo and yeah this is how the how I melt made the tilted rotor then when I converted it when all was uh, dropped I would say then I had to hand edit a few things let's replace sand 1 Okay, so I didn't want these holes, so I had to place the prismarine bricks to cover the holes. And there was also more hand editing, but it wasn't that much and it created a pretty good outcome. Okay, so again, I got a little distracted with something. Let's get back to the build. So one big rotor in the middle and four tilted rotors on the sides. Some modified acacia trees and again some rubbles of pillars overgrown with vines. I also like the stairs leading to the portal which are also overgrown with some vines. And this is the portal created of some, yeah, that, that's a, actually I created the whole portal with a whole hollow cylinders and then I rotated it over the X axis. So yeah, these are rotated X, around the X axis cylinders and then I deleted some of the blocks to have this 
random sea circles look and you can guess what is holding the water in place yeah that's right it's the barriers As you can see, I replaced the bar some of the missing blocks with barriers to hold the water in place. And we have this portal in which with, if players go through, they will have the se server selector. And they will also have this compass or, or whatever item they can use to get to the server selector as well. Okay, I hope I didn't forgot anything. And yeah, maybe I could also say something about the, the sign. So we have a little helicopter here projecting the hall, I would say a holograph with the Zonia network sign. I used the randomized glass also with uh, some nether portals because the nether portals match with the glass color and also I wanted because the holograph is made of light right so light is supposed to shine in night and first I had it all made of just plain glass and it looked pretty weird in night. It didn't shine like a holograph would shine. So uh, the nether portals, the nether portal block, uh, actually emits some light, and the the letters themselves are made of glowstone because they were first made of glass as well. But the Zonia network sign looked pretty bad in day. Like, it wasn't almost readable because uh, it looked pretty similar to the other glasses. So, Zonia Network is made of glowstone because of the day, and the nether portal blocks are made because of the night. So, let's set time to night. And we look from far away, the sign is shining, so all the players will note once they log in the hub that they are in the Zonia Network server. And you can see that the portal is also quite shining because I added a lot of glowstone. So that's also one thing I wanted. And yeah, now I'm pretty sure I showed you guys all what I wanted and all what's left are some flybys showing you guys how the whole build looks. So see you at the next creative blog, which is going to be about uh, something else. I don't know yet what it's going to be about. and. You can also expect the whole speed build of this whole whole project and also a showcase video with some cinematics. So yeah, see you guys at the next creative block. This was Sonic Check. Thanks for watching.